EOS positioning systems here with a tutorial video to highlight the functionality of our EOS Tools app. And this will interface with any of our arrow receivers, whether it be the light, the submeter arrow 100, the RTK centimeter level arrow 200, and the new coming soon arrow gold. And this is a very cool app because it has a lot of the functionality that many other apps in this product line with Bluetooth GNSS receivers do not have. Uh, for our first page here, this is the page we'll spend most of our time in. This is just the position page. And you can see our latitude and longitude and our elevation that's coming in from the Aero 100 that we have connected here for our demo. And then in the center left, we can see our HRMS is our horizontal estimated accuracy, and our VRMS is our vertical estimated accuracy. We can also see in the bottom left the number of satellites being viewed uh, by the receiver and also being utilized in establishing our estimated location. And then we can also see our diff status is DGPS, meaning that we're receiving SBAS corrections, and that's getting our horizontal accuracy down below one meter which you can see right now is bouncing around 22 centimeters, 26 centimeters. And the other information that we have here in this particular app, you can see here at the top, we have position tab. We also have the satellites tab. And this will show us the sky plot for the satellites above us at this very moment. And you can see we have it color coded based on the particular satellite constellation that it is receiving information from. So we have the GPS constellation we're using about eight or nine of those satellites at the moment. The GLONASS constellation, the Rus Russian constellation, which is six satellites right now. And also the Beidou constellation, which is three. And the Beidou tends to fluctuate here in the North America between you know one and three at the moment. You can also see the SBAS constellation there. That's actually part of the GPS constellation. And those are the particular satellites that will give us the corrections, the free corrections to get us down to submeter work. We also have a map view tab here that we can see, but we cannot record points with this. This is just an interface. Most of our time will be spent here in our position tab. Along the bottom here, we have a few more tabs with various amounts of information. Uh, I'm gonna skip over here to the right to the terminal tab. And this just shows our NAMIA data coming in. And if it's flowing up, that means that we have our connection and everything's working between our arrow receiver and our iPad here. We also have a differential tab. This interface is used for the RTK equipment to receive RTK corrections to get much tighter accuracy. And we have another video on how that works. So we'll skip to our alarm tab. And this is actually very unique among the various submeter and RTK Bluetooth GNSS receivers on the market. We have the ability to set alarms so that if the particular accuracy of the data we're collecting goes uh, above what we need it to be, we'll get beeped at and that alarm will inform us that there's something happening and we're no longer receiving the high level of accuracy that we were. Now you can go into uh, differential here and you can see we can set it to say any you know differential GNSS or RTK fixed float or RTK fixed only, meaning that if we were conducting RTK work and we lose our fix and go to float, it'll beep at us. Uh, we can also set our horizontal accuracy manually here to what we need. Perhaps we're using an arrow 100 submeter unit to conduct wetland delineations. So we may want to set that to one meter. So if we go above one meter, it'll alarm us. We can also uh, set our lost connection here. For if for some reason our Bluetooth connection between our iPad here and our arrow receiver is lost, it'll also beep at us. However, we've also built in some nice defaults here. So without having to go through and manually set all the various options, you could just choose submeter which would be set for one meter or less. You could choose the forestry option, which would be three meters or less because you're working under canopy. So it's gonna be uh, tough to get super accurate information underneath a lot of uh, pine tree canopy. Then if we were working with a device receiving RTK corrections and our focus was subfoot, we could select that. 
or if we're working out in the open with an RTK correction for one to two centimeter accuracy, we could choose this particular option. So it's a very quick set of defaults. Anyways, we have a lot of information on our website here and other tutorial videos. Please contact us if you have any questions about our Aero product line of receivers, everywhere from submeter to subfoot to centimeter accuracy. And thank you for your time.